the mob farm. Let me just load up my world real fast. So, you're obviously going to need to have a okay start. Uh, it's best to do this with a, like a good pickaxe, like a diamond pickaxe, but you can do it with iron if you just spawn in the world. A ton of torches, some water buckets. Actually, you need two water water buckets. Let me go get that. Here it is. Yeah, like I said, you're going to need two water buckets. Boom. And you want to fill these up in your local stream or pond without getting shot by pillagers the second you get out of your house. So let me just do a little juke around these guys. Don't want to fight them right now. This works with any spawner except for spider spawner. With the spider spawner, just go look somewhere else because I haven't, you know, took the time to learn a spider spawner. You could do it this method with a few tiny adjustments. Oh crap, here they are. But uh, for the most part, it's not as efficient and it's not good enough. Oh my god. See, this is when you need a better staircase. I got it. Let's go. Alright. Now I can go down. Let me just drop. So, of course, you want to find your mob spawner, of course. Mine. Why did I say, of course, twice? You Mine is just over here, I think. Yep, I just need to go up. Over here, right here. So here is the mob spawner that I'm going to be using. You want to make sure that there aren't any chests in here. Make sure there's nothing around it. You just want to have a good amount of light to uh, keep you, or keep the monsters away from spawning while you're building. So you want to get rid of all the water in the area. And you want to start off by just slowly mining these walls out. So if I figure out how to edit a video, then I'll cut all this part. But if not, well, I'll just skip until I'm done with this. Or if you fell asleep and you happen to stumble across my video, good for you. I'm super boring. So I hear lava right now. Yeah, it's really close. And you don't want lava. Of course. Let me listen for it. Alright. Oh, there it is. Yep. Nope. And I'm out. So, yep, let's go. This is one of the worst parts, just digging it out. It gets super boring. You want to make sure you don't have, like, any excess little holes. Because then that'll kind of mess up your spawning. Alright, so once you get your, uh, all your walls mined out and stuff, one second. They're already spawning. Yep. Screw off. You suck. Alrighty, yo.
Let me just boop. Now I'm going to cover this side of the cave up because I'm never going to use that side and I need to have this closed in. So now what you want to do is you want to go one, just one block down. Eventually you'll go two, but it's safer to dig one down. Especially if you're as high or down low as me. Lava's pretty common around here. Why is there a witch? Jesus Christ, they're everywhere. She's like 20, not 20. She's like 12 blocks through that wall. So I'm not gonna go there. So I basically just wanna keep doing this and I'll cut. Alright, so now uh, that the cobblestone is all gone, it'll go a little bit faster because cobblestone is like half a second or 0.2 seconds, I think. Takes longer to mine than stone. So, yeah. I've always found this fascinating how it just kind of spins around like a stripper pole. Now, you want to do this again. Alright, so once you got the second part floor down, you want to dig one more down. This is the last time you're going to dig down. Unless you want like a weird dropper, but this is just the fastest way. So this isn't going to be like Omega Good Dropper, like El, Mag El Mangos, but you know, it does the job gives you ton of XP, a uh, bunch of free rotten flesh or arrows of course. For me it's going to be rotten flesh and iron, a little bit of armor maybe, hopefully. of them. Okay, you're spawning here now. Not allowed to. Alrighty, -o. so we got two witches. So now that there's three blocks underneath, if you want to go another block down, I'm I think that might increase efficiency by a little bit, but don't take my word on that. I don't even know why you're watching this video. I'm pretty terrible at stuff. So, Oof. One second. 
Oh my god, you suck my balls. One second, guys. Alright, sorry about that. <laughs> so, basically, you want to find a spot that you don't think has lava or water near it. So you can listen for it. That part has a cave. Possibly. I was hearing lava that way. So, I think I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Do, 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 do. This way. So, from here, you want to. You know, do a two by two directly in the center. Line it up with your spawner. Then from here, you want to dig out a three by two. Same here. You want to make sure that you put torches in these as well. And from here, this is where stuff gets fun with water and crap. Oh yeah, don't forget to dig this little T-shape out right here. So now, you want to come back over to here and you want to dig out this line here. And this will come in handy later. So, now, once you have the line, you want to dig over to here. And you want to make it like right behind your line and this is where your two buckets of water come in you put one there one there and you got yourself an infinite water source so from here you want to pick up all your grounded torches and put them on the wall and then start placing away change of plans go up so basically water will do this thing where uh, you can't go a certain amount of you know blocks so you gotta do this you wanna make sure that it's about nine across with your infinite water source and then place them every other block Hang on, man, I gotta read your message. <sighs> Get out of here, bro. So, you want to just keep doing this until you've got it all the way filled up. So, it should stop right at the edge right here, just before the drop happens. And this will basically, when they drop down, push them right here. And from here, you gotta find the sweet spot. Which is right there. Yeah. Alright. 
So you want to remember dig three blocks out. Come back to your infinite water source over here. Crap. Why are you spawning? Stupid hoe. Alright. So now if they come over here into this corner, they get flowed right into the middle. So what you want to do here now, take out that torch, place it back, and you just want to make it flush with the wall. Keep doing that. And then you'll still need your infinite water source, so just grab two more buckets, pop a torch in there, and it's gone. If you ever need to come back later, you can just go over. I'll go right down the center. From here, block off that water so it's not annoying. You dig a little bit out to mess with that. You want to dig out however many blocks you want to. And then dig down a few. That's super risky. And then you build a little room right here. And this room will be the room where you stay and slay the mobs. It can be however big you want. You can even build like your actual main base on here. Link it up. Yes. Alright, so after this, to go right through here, I need torches, so I gotta do that. I'm broke. Just gotta drop down. So here is your little area that you're going to be killing stuff in. Yes, I can read your comments. Alright. So, this is where they're going to drop down. Let me just pick this up. You're going to want a little area right here. And then dig off to the side. Like right there. And from here, you want to put a chest down. And because it's baby zombies suck a lot you're gonna need to make some slabs so they can't like escape and murder you and then you want a slab right there and then full blocks which I'll finish putting down later I still need to come down here some more but yeah and then you're gonna want to put your hopper right there you go back up Everything's all handy and dandy. Then you want to go get your hopper. I need more diamonds, I'm completely out. That got like two left for an enchantment table. But those are for enchantment table. I need like an x ray. So once up here, you want to get some wood, which I, yeah, I already have. Where are you at, pillager? OK, 
Okay, you're not spawn camping my roof, possibly. I think you're in my house. It's kind of gay. Okay. You're too broke to buy a PlayStation. Okay, yeah, he's gone. So, you wanna grab your iron? Hurry, I can't find my iron. Where is this stupid pillager at? Holy crap. He's so loud. Then you want to make a chest at your crafting table. Bam. Then you go over to me mechanisms. You want to grab your iron. Bam. So now you have a hopper. With the hopper, what else do I need again? A door. I need a door. So I'm gonna make a door real fast. Bam. Bam. The rest up. Ba Boom. So from here, I'm gonna go back all the way down to your cave. Oh hey, uh, if you happen to see any diamonds, can you let me know? Because I need some diamonds. No, of course it's not my main world. Are you high? You, you really think this is my main world? You're actually dumb. Alright, so you come back to your spawner. You want to go beep boop. Bop. There's skeletons in here, I think. Nope. Okay, I'm good. So you grab your hopper. You want to crouch, place it basically on your uh, chest. So now, this is where your other stuff comes in. You definitely want this one like little area slab right there. And then in here you can get another chest, you know, put it here. You can build, put a bed down here if you ever need it. Just anything. But you always want to make sure you have this little corner because sometimes the XP will go and like hide in the hopper. And that's annoying. So now, all you need to do is make a way in and out for yourself without running through a bunch of mobs. Xbox is garbage. Besides, like, Bedrock Edition is terrible. One of the worst things that's happened to Minecraft. There you are. So now you want to make sure you have a like a safe passage to your main cave where this thing is hiding in. Time to get rid of this really bad spot. You want to make sure that everything is covered up in the end. So just go 
kind of around the corners of it. And boom, boom. I'm gonna make sure all this is done. Oh my god. So, how much trouble do you get, get in to if you, like, murder somebody? Isn't, like, a good amount? So, from here, you want to make sure that you have, you know, a way into here. And you want to have a little place right here. So that way the monsters can't spawn up on top of here. The easiest way to do this to save like materials is to do it every other block like this. That way they can't spawn here unless they're hacking. So then you just go over your head and you're gonna be you're gonna come back in here a few more times maintenance make it better just so you want to leave an okay way to get in there or just break your way back in so from this point you go all the way back of course 69 years Bro, where are these diamonds at? Like, holy crap. Uh, I need diamonds super bad. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You want to go back up. Get all your stuff. Oh yeah, and you definitely do want a bed and a chest down there. Just in case things, you know, happen. And you need somewhere to stay. For a little bit then you know you always have your mob grinder because obviously one day a ravenger is gonna spawn in and like basically break down my entire house or my entire fortress I guess and it's gonna suck and then pillagers are, are gonna come in try and eat me alive So now, you want to put away all your stuff, of course. I'll grab some wood as well. Just for that, a chest. And then after that, you're basically done. You just have to go back in there, remove all the torches, and you're good. And I'll be doing that in a second. So I've got my bed. I'm gonna go down there. Open the door and go skeet. So, once you get there, like I said, you can make this however big, like, you, you can make the room however big you want to. It really just depends on if you want to live there or not, if you want to start up a base down there or not. And then, after that, you're basically good. Let me just, uh, make a way in there. Once you have all, all of your stuff moved in, then... I'll show you what to do next. Come down here. Bam. <sighs> I just wasted all this wood. Because I'm so smart. So yeah, that's basically it. You know, you've got your chest down here, which I unfortunately messed up. You got your bed. You stand here. Swipe at them every other second or two. Let them funnel in. And yeah. Come over here. Let me just, uh. Do that.
come over here and then this is where it gets a little bit tricky and you gotta go fast like Sanic you want to break all of your torches you wanna break that block you wanna break that torch you wanna break that final torch on the top crap bam and then there will be like a few that instantly spawn in so you just gotta you just need a a singular sign which I forgot because I'm dumb you put it right where the water stream ends and then you're good just yeah so whenever you fall down that little funnel right where it drops you want to put a sign like at the very top of the tunnel where the water connects that'll stop the water just at the very edge that way uh, you don't have to worry about you know them being dumb never have anything around when I need it. Oh, of course. Yeah, that's it. Ah, uh, I'm gonna get off now because I have a headache. Wrong button. Wrong button. Bad way to end off. <laughs>